Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Cape Coral, Florida, where a Sovtard was pulled over for going uh, 70 in a 50 mile an hour zone. And uh, things just escalated from there. He even has to pay a visit uh, to Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace, and wins a shiny new pair of bracelets. But there's more to the story. Wait to the end to see what happens. So at any rate, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hello, Officer Walker, Cape Coral Police Department. The reason I stopped you is you're going 70 at a 50 mile per hour zone. Wow, 20 miles above the speed limit. Uh, where are you going in such a hurry, Sovtard? I mean, if you had gone the speed limit at the very least, well, maybe they wouldn't have discovered what they're about to discover with you, and it's pretty disturbing. This uh, speedometer and fill gauge, as you can see, it's not 8 on 8. Okay. It's like almost a full time. You were going way above the speed limit, over 20 over. Do you have your license, registration, proof of insurance? Well, I don't, I'm not driving. Okay then, Sovtard, uh, let me ask you a question then. This, uh, what I'm about to show you comes from the uh, Florida Department of Motor Vehicles website itself regarding uh, driver's license endorsements. You see, you have a Class E license, which is just for non-commercial driving in the state of Florida. And then uh, you have the actual CDL, which is a commercial driver's license. So my smooth brain Sovtard friend, if uh, what you're saying is true, then why the hell does the Florida Department of Motor Vehicles make such a distinction between uh, the Class E and the CDL? Uh, answer me that, dumbass. Okay, can I get a code 10? Do you have your license, registration, proof of insurance? No, I'm not, I'm not driving. I'm not asking if you're driving, I'm asking for your ID. Well, I mean, I'm wanting to know if I've committed a crime. All right, it's not letting I you stopped you because on. you were going 20 over the speed limit. I don't care if your speedometer is not correct. I want to see your license. No, I don't use a license. I'm not. So you have nothing to identify yourself? No, I don't use driver's license. I'm not, I'm not driving. Hey, lack brain. When you drive a vehicle on the public uh, roadways in the state of Florida, you have to have your driver's license on you at all times. And you have to present it at the traffic stop. Otherwise, well, there will be other fines and penalties and everything like that. But let's carry on and see what this uh, freaking giblet head has to say now. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? You are operating a motor vehicle on a roadway. What's your name? What is your name? Can you please prove to me that I You are in the driver's seat of a vehicle operating on a roadway. Can you prove to me or tell me a reasonable articulate suspicion that I Alright, so go ahead and step out of the vehicle for me. Oh, come on now, dude. Don't play that damn game with everybody. You're only gonna lose. I mean, the RAS, the reasonable articulable suspicion, is that, well, you were caught uh, going 20 miles above the speed limit, and here is the statute that covers that little issue of yours. So, why don't you pull your head out of your ass and uh, take a look at it, that way you'll understand where you went wrong. But I really doubt you'll uh, uh, come out with uh, anything less than a rather shitty view. Step out of the vehicle. Yes, you have, sir. And you're now you're failing to identify yourself, and you have to have a driver's license to operate a motor vehicle on a roadway in the but United I'm not, States. But I'm not driving, I'm traveling. You are driving. Traveling, driving, whatever you want to call it, you are operating a motor vehicle. No, this is not a motor vehicle, this is a traveling shuttle. <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> Oh my goodness, did he really just say that? Tell me, did he really just say that that vehicle was a not a vehicle, but a traveling shuttle? Well, let me clue you in on something, you lead paint chip eating soft tart. A freaking shuttle 
is a vehicle and you are currently operating a motor vehicle in the state of Florida which requires a driver's license. So your word salad definition bullshit isn't exactly going to work in this case. I mean, if you want to try it in court, that's fine, but you'll still fail. Sir? It's an, it's an automobile. Sir, it's I'm not going to play games with you. You can identify no. yourself. I'm not trying to play games with you. I'm willing to cooperate with you. Please. I'm asking for your name. I'm asking for your name. There's no reason for a supervisor to come out here if you can't identify yourself. I'm asking for you to identify yourself. If you identify yourself to me, I'll ask for a supervisor to come out here. I can't ask for a supervisor for someone who won't tell us who they are. Please. Do not violate my rights and I'm not violating your rights. You are disobeying the law. You are disobeying the law. I'm telling you, you have to I'm identify driving. yourself. You are driving 70 driving. and a 50. This does not work. It does not matter, sir. It just sir, it does not matter. Not it does not matter if your speedometer is incorrect, then you're operating a vehicle that does not have the proper equipment. If your uh, vehicle's uh, speedometer is not working, dude, you should have gotten that fixed. I mean, there's uh, plenty of places that can do that for you. They can readjust it to make sure that it's uh, properly calibrated and everything like that. And maybe this kind of thing won't happen to you again. This is not a motor vehicle. It this is a motor vehicle. A vehicle. This is a traveling shuttle. By definition, this is a motor vehicle. Motor vehicles are commercial. Sir, I'm not going to argue with vehicles. this. I'm not going to argue with you about it. You can identify yourself or you're going to go to jail tonight. Do you understand me? Are you coercing me to go I'm not with you? I'm judgment? not I'm not forcing you to do anything, but I will if I have to. You can identify yourself. I'm recording too. Go right ahead. Sir, you were driving 70 and a 50. I'm asking you to identify yourself and provide your paperwork for your vehicle. Can you give me a reasonable, articulable I just fact did. that I've committed a crime? I just explained to you why I stopped you, and that is a crime. Driving 20 miles over the speed limit that is, is a, a crime. crime. It, it is. That is a it is a violation of Florida state statutes. Yeah, but those statutes don't have jurisdiction over me. I'm yes, they do. Traveling. You I'm can not, identify I'm yourself or you're going to go to jail tonight. You're coercing me. What makes you so special that the uh, laws don't apply to you like they apply to everybody else? That's my question to you. What makes you so special? What sets you apart from everybody else? Coercing me to do something that is in Sir? cooperation with you against my better judgment. That is coercion. Sir. Anything that I do from this point forward is because I'm under the threat of I don't care how you feel about it. You need to identify yourself. I you have, sir. I've already explained the crime to you that you have committed, and now you're me? failing to identify yourself. But first things first, can you prove to me that I've committed a crime? I already explained it to you, sir. I already explained it to I you. I have committed a crime. Yes, you have. Just because you feel like you don't have to obey the law does not mean you don't my have rights. to obey the law. Sir. My inalienable rights. Uh, so you're picking and choosing the laws you want uh, to obey and the rights you want to keep? Uh, no, it's pretty much a package. You take the whole thing. I mean, if you want to the protection of the rights and privileges of the United States, you got to follow all the laws of your state that you live in or the state that you pass through because every state has its own set of laws and uh, well let me tell you something dude the uh, supreme court will intervene if the uh, laws of the state are indeed unconstitutional and that has happened in the past and it continues to happen so yeah you just can't pick and choose if you don't if you don't, if you don't believe in the laws of the united states then how do you have any rights under that can you explain that to me uh, dude, a uh, penal code is a set of statutes, and believe it or not, statutes are another word for laws. In fact, statutes are laws that are passed by a legislator. I mean, can you uh, 
at least grow a brain? Because that empty space between your ears isn't exactly helping your situation out right now. I mean, come on now, uh, dude, think. Is this the Sir, are you going to identify yourself? Is this the Inquisition? Are you going to, are you going to provide identification, sir? Can you please get your supervisor? I want to speak to your... Are you going to provide identification? Can you please get your supervisor? Are you going to provide identification? I Sir, I'm not going to play games with you. You need to ID yourself. I don't need to play games. I'm going to use you to my rights. My name is your rights. I have a right to speak to your supervisor. That is not a right. That is nowhere in your rights does it say that you have a right to speak to my supervisor. If you will not identify yourself, why do you need to speak with my supervisor if you don't even want to ID, ID yourself? Because I feel like you are operating under the color of law. You're just throwing out words, man. I don't think you know any what any of them actually mean. Uh, yeah, that's for sure, because the color of law is all about civil rights, and not once has his civil rights been violated in this traffic stop. He's been pulled over for speeding, not to mention that he, uh... Uh, refuses to identify himself even though Florida law says you're supposed to at a traffic stop and uh, well that's not exactly a violation of the fourth amendment jackass that's, what I'm that's thinking, not what you color of law means you're operating under the color of law that that's not you're what color of law rights. means sir Whenever I ask for you to get your supervisor you must all right sir we're not playing games you're not gonna violate my rights hey man what's up what's going on okay so, I asked to speak to her supervisor. Okay. Now we're at She's denying you a supervisor? Okay. Can I ask why? Because they're going to want to know why. I think she's operating under the color of law. And she's coercing me. Okay. Why'd she stop you? She's coercing me. What? What? How is she coercing you, man? She's threatening me. She's threatening that she's going to take me to jail. And if I don't cooperate with her, I've Okay. 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 So the Okay, so you want to supervise because she's trying to intimidate you. It's, I, I gotta make sure I understand what's going on, man, okay? I haven't been here. Step out of the vehicle, sir. I can't hear you. I literally can't hear what you're asking me. My badge number is 2143, Officer Walker. Can I have you step out of the vehicle? Sir, can I have you step out of the vehicle, please? Can I have you step out of the vehicle, sir? I can't hear anything you're saying to me. I can't hear you. I already explained it to you. I already explained it to you. I stopped you because you were going 70 miles an hour in a 50 mile an hour zone. It doesn't matter, sir. That means you're operating a vehicle that does not have proper equipment. So my understanding right now is that she's saying that you're traveling above the posted speed limit. Is that is that what my understanding is? It, it's to me, it's the same thing. So if I it, if it's okay. Okay. I understand your. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Okay. Well, right now you're in the city of Cape Coral, right? Okay. Hang on. Hang on. So everybody within our jurisdiction is our jurisdiction. I understand your your belief is different, okay? I can't hear what you're saying. Roll down your window and maybe I'll be able to hear you. I can't hear you with the traffic behind me and your window only open this much. Can you please prove your jurisdiction? You are in the city of Cape Coral. Yes, it does. You are in the city of Cape Coral. Even if you weren't from the United States, if you're in the city of Cape Coral, I have jurisdiction. All right, sir, are you going to step out of the vehicle? Supervisor. Supervisor is on the way, but at this time you need to step out of the vehicle or I'm going to break the window. I don't think it's coercion. It's not coercion? I'm giving you a lawful order. I've asked to speak to your Sir, you can either step out of the vehicle or I'm going to break the window.
window. Well, that would be a violation. It would not be a violation of your property because you're failing to cooperate with law enforcement. I would have to seek compensation. Madam no, no, Officer Myers, I work for the Cape Cod Police Department. I work for the city's traffic division. Senior officer on the scene. Okay? Unlawfully pulled over. Okay? We've asked you to identify yourself. If you fail to identify yourself, it's considered a criminal offense. It's an obstruction of justice. You're looking at him right now. Yes, what can I do for you? Your obstruction of justice is right now. You are violating the law. I will not answer any questions until you identify yourself. If you do not identify yourself, you will be arrested for obstruction of justice. You are detained. You are lawfully required to identify yourself. Provide your identification now and want to be Step out of the vehicle. Step out of the vehicle. If you do not open your vehicle, I will break the window and extricate you from this vehicle. Do you understand me? Safe light replace. There you go. I told you. Get out. I'm not supposed to have this broke my window. Open. One open? Can I break this front one? I like it, otherwise I'm going to break this one. That's a driver's license. I'm traveling. You are required to identify yourself. I've asked you to identify yourself. You refuse. Can you prove your jurisdiction with me? Okay. Break this one. Watch out. I'm going to break it. Safe flight repair. Safe flight replace. Your hands back. Your hands on the steering wheel. Get out now. Get out of the car. I'll be getting you Ah, hit me on your back. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Right. Got him. Alright. It didn't have to happen. You just violated my rights. Sorry. I've asked for you. I've asked for you to give me a reasonable articulate suspicion that I've committed a crime. Spread your feet. Well, uh, he was taken to the Lee County Jail and he was charged with animal cruelty due to the fact that his animals were sitting in their own waste and appeared to be well malnourished and everything like that failure to register his motor vehicle so you know what this guy was a douchebag all the way around especially with his uh dogs so at any rate guys i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i will see you on the next one